Foster. Farmers here in Hastings plant more than 20,000 acres of potatoes. Tommy Lee has 700 of them. That's his job. Tommy makes potato chips because he wants to. I don't know, I just always wanted a kettle fried chip. I started out, uh, well, I went to Hawaii one time and seen that Hawaiian kettle fry. Bull's chips are thicker than your average supermarket chip, darker too, but they're not burned. Bull's chips go right from the slicer into the peanut oil with a little potato juice still on them. Actually, we don't go by the color, we go by the taste. Oh, now, you know, okay. Your large chip companies go by the color. Uh -huh. no, they want them white, so they run them through all kind of, truthfully, bleaching process and, and water washing and all that. You wash away, you your good taste, mm -hmm. my thinking. Johnny here does the chip cooking. Takes 10, 12 minutes a batch, depending on temperature, humidity, and how Johnny's feeling. Little, Look at that intense little must, concentration. His little mustache is twitching, you see. Yeah. And the potatoes. Johnny, what kind of mood are you in? I'm in a hot, spicy mood today. So today, Johnny's making these spicy bulls chips with Menorcan daddle peppers. They're local to this part of Florida, brought here with settlers from the Spanish island of Menorca in the 1700s. Descendants still grow the peppers in their backyards. Very hot, but with flavor too. Tommy is not Menorcan, but he tries. That's, a, that's about a ripe one there. Uh, these are dehydrated, and then from there we grind them in just a regular coffee grinder. Johnny is uh, just lightly doing them to his flavor. And uh, it'll make you sneeze. I was going to say. And now he might hit a spot with two shakes. And he does that. Chip. <coughs> there you go. God bless Woo! you. <laughs> I was nowhere near the chips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know if you like a Ooh, That's spicy. <laughs> Tommy has just added sour cream and onion, barbecue, ranch, salt and vinegar, and seafood spice. And, of course, there's always potato flavor. <laughs> Miss Patsy does the bagging, 12 bags to a box. I was say, level with me, big boss. How often are you really in here putting them into boxes? <laughs> this is the first time in a couple of weeks that I've done it. <laughs> but they do let me count the money. That's what counts. Bulls chips are in a few stores, but they're a big seller on the Internet, spreading the flavors of this little Florida town all over the country, all over the world. In Hastings, Florida, John Graham, Fox 35 News.